one of the more important things that comes up in the cases that I handle, I, I handle a lot of divorce cases that involve businesses, and um, is how do you value the business? How is it dealt with? Well, a, a business has to be valued in the divorce just like anything else. And, you know, you have to value each and every aspect of, of the business. In many cases, what happens is accountants get involved and we look to the balance sheet of the business to determine what everything is worth. And in many instances, you know, we have appraisals done of certain items on the balance sheet to adjust the values to what their actual value is. But basically, in, in most divorces, the value of the business is the adjusted net book value of the company. And that's the assets of the company minus the liabilities of the company after you make certain adjustments to items on the company balance sheet. One thing that those with businesses should know is the concept of how goodwill is valued or not valued in a divorce. In divorce cases, unlike selling a business, if there is a goodwill value, meaning the business is worth more than the actual balance sheet says it's worth, in almost all cases, that goodwill is not a marital asset to be divided. If the goodwill of the company, the value over the balance sheet um, amount is related to the reputation of the spouse in the divorce, uh, meaning people come to the business because of that person. Um, in many cases, this is what happens with lawyers, with doctors, with, with many types of businesses. If people go to the business because of the reputation of the spouse, uh, typically any goodwill, if it exists, is going to be called personal goodwill and it's not going to be valued in the divorce. If a non-compete agreement would need to be signed to sell the business, meaning if you're going to sell the business to somebody else and as part of that, they make you sign a contract saying you're not going to compete with them. If that's the case, um, in most all situations, any goodwill is going to be considered personal goodwill and it's not going to be valued as a marital asset in the divorce. So, you know, a divorce with a business could make up an hour-long uh, seminar in itself and probably uh, I'll cover that here at one point in time. But for now, you need to know if, if you have a business, it's most likely going to be valued at the uh, adjusted net book value of the balance sheet of the business and um, in many cases you're going to need to get a very competent divorce lawyer that uh, has a background in accounting and also probably a forensic accountant involved to help value the uh, the business we here at the Bruce Law Firm hope this video has been helpful to you and briefly want to highlight a few other resources we've put together that might be beneficial as you think more about divorce and try to learn more about it. Uh, we have a website, uh, divorceinformationbooks.com. That's divorceinformationbooks.com. And when you go to that page, you will be able to download um, all of the books that our firm has made available for free um, on different topics related to divorce, getting organized for divorce, controlling a difficult divorce, divorce strategy. We've got a Florida law guide and a Florida procedure guide on there. Um, a load of helpful information, all for free, that uh, you can download and read in the comfort of your own home and also um, request for us to mail to you for free. So check it out, divorceinformationbooks.com. And uh, we have another website, it's uh, hurtforthelasttime.com, and that will take you to our law firm's guide on how to divorce a controlling or narcissistic husband. Uh, we represent both men and women at the Bruce Law Firm, but one of our particular areas of focus is representing women who are leaving an emotionally abusive relationship from a controlling um, husband who has a personality disorder. Uh, it's a very unique type of situation that we like to think we do well and we've put together a book um, on uh, that particular type of issue that any women in that situation would uh, certainly benefit from. Um, 
in terms of what you do now, um, a few action steps at least suggested um, by us. Um, before you do anything, if you haven't done um, it yet, uh, you should go see a really good therapist and see if it's possible to save your marriage or at least um, come to terms with whether uh, for you the best thing to do is move on from your marriage. And if you don't know any really good therapists, we have a website, staymarriedflorida.com, and has a lot of great ones in the South Florida area. If you don't see a therapist in your location, please reach out to us and we'll do our best to connect you to one. Um, a few different steps going forward. Uh, number one, before you get divorced, you need to try to envision and define um, the life that you want to have after the divorce and come up with a strategy for um, how you pursue the divorce. And we have a book on that, um, controlyourdifficultdivorce.com, we'll take you to it. Uh, the second thing uh, you need to be doing in conjunction with um, finding out the type of life you want to live and trying to figure out how you approach the divorce is learn a little bit more about the laws that apply to um, a divorce in Florida, and you're doing that right now. Uh, we've got a book that covers everything, floridadivorcelawguide.com. We'll take you to it. It's a free book by the firm. Um, the next thing you need to do if you're starting to feel that divorce really is the right option for you is start getting organized. There's financial information that you're need, going to need to gather. Um, it's a little bit of work, um, but uh, it certainly can be done and should be done before the divorce process starts. Before you see a lawyer, you need to uh, do your best to get organized for divorce and go to getorganizedfordivorce.com. We've got a book uh, just on that uh, particular topic. It's geared towards women, uh, but uh, just as helpful towards men, so check it out. Um, and uh, the final step before you do anything, uh, you should read our book on um, divorce lawyers and how to find them, all you need to know about divorce lawyers. It's all about divorcelawyers.com. That book highlights situations for when you uh, should consider having an attorney to help you with your divorce, how to go about finding an attorney that's right for you in your particular situation, and then how to work with that attorney and make sure that um, they're hearing you and understand uh, your goals and that uh, you're working efficiently with them so that the costs are as reasonable as possible. Um, if this video was helpful to you, we'd certainly love if you could uh, share uh, the video uh, with anybody you think might be in need. Divorce is difficult, but it's much easier when people have access to the information needed to dispel the myths common to divorce. There's a lot out there on the internet and it could be kind of scary. We like to think that uh, the videos we've put together on our website and on our YouTube channel um, are going to be helpful for everyone. So please share. Um, if you're seeing this and you have a question that comes to mind, please do not hesitate to send it to us. We will do our best to respond to your question. Um, send an email to questions at brucepa.com. We'll do our best to answer it. Um, sending us a question does not create an attorney-client relationship with our law firm. Um, you know, we're not your attorney just because you send us a question, but if you do send us one, we'll do our best uh, to respond, and uh, it might even be something we can turn into a follow-up question and answer video similar to this to help other people in your situation. My name is Christopher Bruce, and my firm is limited to divorce and family law in South Florida, and you know, there's a lot of great lawyers um, in the South Florida area. Uh, we like to think our firm um, is pretty good at what we do. If you think we might be a good fit for your situation, we welcome um, your inquiry. Uh, what we do is we have a consultation and strategy session typically um, to determine if we're the right fit for our clients. And in that session, we do our best to give a client um, an understanding of all the laws that apply to their situation, we answer all of the client's questions and we give them an actionable strategy. It's uh, very helpful uh, for uh, learning what your rights are. And if you'd like to set something like that up, you can call our offices at 561-810-0170. And there's a nominal charge for the meeting, but uh, we like to think it's well worth it. Um, just as a little bit of a disclaimer, this video is not a substitute for a competent divorce lawyer. You should consult with a qualified divorce lawyer before 
you take any action in this video does not create an attorney-client relationship between you and the Bruce Law Firm. We hope this uh, video was helpful. There's uh, more on the website and on YouTube. Thanks for watching.